All right, welcome to Shiroka, everybody. We are about a 20 minute drive from Skoder. Tiny little lakeside village. And if you see this roof, if you see the tiles on the roof, that's sort of concave or convex shape. Uh, we're about to have lunch cooked in one of those. So super excited for this. Super excited for a subscriber who recommended us to try some local, I believe, lake caught fish potentially carp cooked in a roofing tile. So really excited for this. It looks to be a lakefront restaurant. We're going down here. I will say uh, this is part of our road trip, but you certainly do not need to do a road trip uh, to here from Škoda as tons of people are taking bicycles and cycling. So it's a couple hours. It looks like an awesome restaurant. Wow. Hello. Fantastic. Can we sit here? Fantastic. Here we go, guys. Check this out. What could be better than this? Amazing color of the lake. Yeah, very, very nice. Very special, and we'll sit right here. Yeah. Just okay. fantastic. <laughs> this is special, no? Oh, so pretty. Very beautiful. And hopefully they have this uh, local delicacy, cooked and roof tiles available. Not sure if it's seasonal, not sure if it's oh, dinner right. only. We're just going for it. Look at this, man. Absolutely cannot beat it. And we could even yeah, swim down there. I might do it, Ivana. Yeah. Now, I will say, we woke up this morning in a tiny town called Vermosh at a local guest house, tucked away in the mountains, super lush and green and beautiful. And we had about a two hour drive to get here this morning. And I cannot say enough about the drive, the winding roads through the mountains, looking out the windows, uh, 360 degrees of beauty, some small villages, some animals. We did pass over a bridge and we thought, oh, it looks beautiful down there. So we pulled off the side of the road and jumped in the water. Wow. Oh, oh. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh, it's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> Perfectly clean, mm -hmm. quite chilly, but still refreshing and fantastic. Uh, cannot say enough. It seems like every bridge is a swimming spot. That's right. And there's like dozens and dozens of places to swim and jump in the water. Mm -hmm. Really great. So we had the so place beautiful. to ourselves and we were just splashing around. Really great. Uh, we drove a little more and we even found a really fantastic viewpoint. Right. With a guy there selling some drinks, so we had a cold drink and overlooked paradise, relaxing, lush, green mountains. The drive here this morning, I cannot say enough, guys. Yeah, beautiful. So beautiful. great. So we woke up late at our accommodation. Oh, we actually had a really nice breakfast at our accommodation. Mm -hmm. yes. I really love the Albanian fried bread and the jam yeah. and the cheese and the eggs. Really nice breakfast, late. And then a two, two and a half hour drive through the mountains. And now we're in Shiroke. Yeah. So it's part of Beautiful. our, it's part of our road trip series. But if you're, if you're in Škodra, you don't need a car to get here. You can cycle here in an hour or something. That's right. Um, but super amazing color of the, of the lake. It doesn't Beautiful. look like, I don't know how it could be like that. It's <laughs> amazing. It's, it's mind blowing. It's really special. And uh, like I said earlier, big thanks to our subscriber who said there's a, uh, food cooked in a roof tile. You guys know I used to be a roofer, so every day for lunch, we would eat on the roof. Wow. But this particular food was cooked in the roof. First time for that. That is so So cool. we're excited for that. I mean, we're gonna sit here and admire this lake, which doesn't even look real, and then we're gonna eat food cooked in the roof. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, man. It's like, it's like 1.30 p.m., mm -hmm. and we've had an amazing day already. Yeah, the drive here was like, incredible drive. Really it, incredible drive. It's amazing, it's amazing. I love road trips especially through the Albanian Alps. Yes, road trips are nice Beautiful. because you get to do whatever you want. So, like I said, we pass over a bridge, we say, oh, we should go swimming, and we just go swim there. Yeah. And there's like dozens and dozens, probably hundreds, thousands of places to swim. Yeah. So everyone's got their own place, it's quiet, uh, it's relaxing, yeah. really fantastic. And I think we will jump to the water after we eat. I mean, it looks so inviting. Yeah, look at that. It looks so inviting. Actually, the color of the water looks just like blue Gatorade. <laughs> You're right. It's a Gatorade Lake. Yeah. All Here right. we are. Okay, Gatorade Lake and uh, Let's... we ordered a carp and a trout. Yes. 
One each. All right. Cooked in a roof. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Look at that, guys. We got the trout in the rooftop clay thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they call it. <laughs> awesome. Now, we thought this would be also in roof uh, tile. It's not. Yeah, so this trout is the trout and carp. and carp. Carp is actually the specialty here in uh, the Squadra area. This is Lake Squadra, so they caught it fresh from the lake. Okay, so still traditional delicacy. Yes. One's in the roofing tile and one's uh, local fish. Okay, yeah, good. let's try it. Yeah, don't be shy, Vanna. So let's try the trout first, I think. Um, let's see, it's a big trout, no? It's huge. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Trout is, I think, is also a ripper or a lake fish, not water, salt water. No, no, freshwater fish. Freshwater. Freshwater fish. Uh, let me know and what this is. This looks like some kind I'd of like uh, have flavor some... paste. Yeah. Okay. A little taste of the trout. Ivana's got magical taste buds. Mm. She can tell you the ingredients when she eats it. Very nice. A little bit spicy. Really? Yeah. Tastes like it's cooking sambal, to be honest. Really? Like uh, chili paste mm. and tomato. But it's good. I think it's pepper, though. I think it's pepper, not chili. Look at this. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see. I think there's some seed on it yeah uh maybe you're right it's pepper because we have not seen almost any mm. chilies around here it's just sour yet. sour I just taste the sourness like oh, sour. uh like tamarind or something uh, i'm not sure like sour plum sour plum that's mm -hmm. where they get their sour from and the fish is not very uh it's not fishy I that's like good it. news mm -hmm. that's good news mm -mm -mm. i wonder if this is hot mm. oh it's very hot yes it's very hot the skin is crispy. They cook it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Crispy skin, mm -hmm. sour and spicy trout in a roof tile. Now, I wouldn't it's say... It's pretty creative, isn't it? I don't taste any clay. Well, that's a good question. Is there any roof flavor? <laughs> <laughs> roof flavor? Hmm. Uh, Let's see again. The, look at the meat, guys. So good. Honestly, this is very nice. Mm. Nice, right? So good. Oh, it's so it good for, for uh, good for photos. So interesting yeah. looking, you know. I don't think I taste the 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 clay. So you, you would say it tastes that. the same as if it were cooked in a metal mm. pan. Let me try this one. Okay, go ahead. This is the carp. So this is the famous fish from Scotter. Um, what's happening here? There's a whole. This is a huge fish. Is that yeah. right? Very big. And this is like the guts or whatever. Mm. This is the meat, and this is like the inside part they removed. Yes, yes. Sorry, guys. My questions for fish are so stupid because I don't know anything this. about fish. This is the meat. Stupid question. Uh, this one looks really good. That I orange this flavor one, looks really good. This yummy. one, I think it's more dense, and this one is more soft. Okay. Mm-hmm. This one is more dense. Uh, what do you mean dense? Like, 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 uh... Firm. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Honestly, I think they both, the sauce... Tastes kind of like asam pedas in Malaysia. Except, asam pedas, yeah. which means spicy because and sour. It's a little bit sour and spicy. <laughs> so in Malaysia, it would be chili and tamarind. And yeah. over here, it would be Ooh, pepper they might and cook it with sour apple. Sour plum, yeah. Sour plum, sorry. Interesting. And, and sour, yeah, it's What's really funny sour. is you can get asam pedas in clay pot. Yeah. This is the... Uh, oh, yeah. In Malaysia. This is the Albanian But this is really good. Asempa it's amazing. Amazing fish. Like one of the best I've ever tasted. It's really? so good. It's not fishy. You'll like it. Mm -hmm. So which would you prefer? The uh, rooftop uh, trout or the uh, super massive carp? Excuse me. <laughs> mm. You know what? I think I like the trout. Might be because it's cooking uh, in the roof tile. The presentation matters. I think the taste is a little bit different. Mm. I don't know if it's because of the fish taste or because mm. it's cooking up. Yeah. Winner. Mm -hmm. They're both it. good. Mm -hmm. Winner, winner, trout dinner. Amazing, amazing, Steve. You must try it. All right, let's Please. eat, man. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, such good food. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely incredible. Both fish, five stars. Ivana and I are engaged in a bit of a debate over which is the better fish of the yeah, two. Yeah. I think we agree. The carp in the sauce. Guys, this sauce is so good. It's unbelievable. I really love the um, sour plum. Yes. So it's got a strong sour flavor. I will say the fish is quite fishy. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the sour flavor covers it up really, really good. Mm -hmm. Does remind us of Asampadas right. in Malaysia. Very similar. Yes. Asampadas pari, same kind of shape of the fish too. Yeah. Very similar. No, I will say this um, roofing tile fish, trout, uh, also very, very good. I'm curious as to how this happened, like when this started, cooking in the roofing tile. If anybody mm -hmm. knows, let us know in the comments. It's possible it's just because it's made out of clay and they had it at the house and so it might have been just born out of necessity. Mm, right. My understanding is clay is made like forged in a super hot oven so that if you put it in an oven to cook food in it would not damage at all yeah it's safe so maybe it was just uh you know they had it at the house they want to cook something i will say the shape is perfect for a fish you can see yeah. it's kind of fish shape and also these grooves are perfect because it creates these little pockets uh flavor flavor savers i was calling <laughs> them so you take your fish and then you go underneath and scoop out the uh sauce that's trapped in the little yeah grooves uh so good but as you can see this one only the bones left. Only the bones left. <laughs> was really good. It was both, so good. Both five stars, but the carp, I will say six stars. Really? Very, very nice. Wow, I thought you liked the trout better. No, I'm going to go with the carp. You wow. convinced me. We were debating and Ivana convinced me the carp is, it's just, that sour flavor is so good. The sauce you love. The sauce is unbelievable. Mm. Very, very nice. Mm. Plus, you cannot beat the uh, ambiance here. Ooh. So beautiful, We're right? We're the only ones here. It's quiet. No umbrellas, just trees for umbrellas, which mm -hmm. what could be better than that? And then I think I'm going to jump in the lake in about yeah. five minutes. Yeah, I think so. Next stop, the second swim of the day. Mm. Uh, what time is it? Three or four o'clock? Yeah. Second swim so. of the day. All right. What could be better than that? <laughs> Let's go swimming. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> How is the water, man? Awesome. Nice, refreshing. The warmest water in all of Albania. Ooh, so nice. Far. I love it. Very nice. I will say, on the edge here, a little bit mossy, a little bit huh? dead fish smell, you know, like lake smell. But uh, out there, it's perfectly clean and very warm and really great. Nice. 10 out of 10 would swim. Woohoo! Nice. I've been here for. All right, let's go to the castle. <laughs> turtle! I didn't even notice! I know, we they found a little turtle. A uh, real live turtle! Yes. Okay, don't scare him. Leave okay. him alone. Cool, right? See, cool. he's got, a, he's got a, a fortress too. Yeah. He's got a defensive fort right on his back. That's true. There you have it. <laughs> okay, bye turtle! He's warm like a he goes. Whoa! And they say turtles are slow. Look at that. Okay, let's go. Cute! Alright. Rosafa Castle, $4 each to enter, which I think is an absolute steal of a price. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've been to a few castles our time in Albania, and the views never get old. Ooh. So we've been here for about one minute. We just walked in the front door, and this view is incredible. You got the river, you got the city, the hills over here, the mountains in the background. Beautiful. Uh, worth the price of admission alone would be the viewpoint. I will say this particular castle has some remnants of... Uh, I think some walls from 4th century BC. Wow. So like 2,500 years old Illyrian Empire walls. So that's kind of unique compared to the other castles we've seen. My hat almost blew off the <laughs> viewpoint here. Let's put that back on. 
But I'm um, really excited for this. Obviously, super picturesque up here for defensive yeah. purposes. Um, excited Beautiful. to learn more. All right, let's walk around. We've got this pretty great viewpoint here. We were just hanging out That's with uh, a couple people. It's really oh, great. And by the way, if you guys can see, that was the bridge. Right there is the bridge that connects us to, from this point, going to the lakeside, way over there. Okay, so this river is connected to the lake. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So beautiful up here. Mm -hmm. And obviously super historical. So we're gonna wander through, hopefully there's some signage to learn more stuff. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, first things first, thank goodness that amongst all this 500 year old ruins, there's a restaurant selling cold water. Mm -hmm. I needed that. I'm getting tired quickly. I will say this castle seems to be the biggest one we've seen so far. Not that's sure. Right. Not sure if that's true, but it seems that way. And I would say the best viewpoints. Yes, the best view uh, compared to Barat and Girocaster Castle. It's absolutely incredible up here. It's massive, and it's really nice how the grass is growing on top of the castle. So it looks like it's you're in like a courtyard. Right. Right. Quite beautiful. Yeah, I wish uh, they would provide more information about the history uh, of the castle. Unfortunately, Ivana's 4G just ran out. Yeah. We just used up all her data, so we can't Google anything and uh, kind of limited information. Still really beautiful, still worth coming, still worth $4 for sure. Yeah. But um, there is a really good story from the name Rosafa. Yeah. Maybe we'll put it in the comments. Yes. Because we vaguely know it, something about... A human being was sacrificed and built into one of the walls. We're not sure. Mm -hmm. Check the comments for the full Rosafa story. <laughs> but we were hoping to share that with you guys. But uh, data ran out at the worst possible time. That's right. That being said, this is the end of our northern Albania road trip. Oh, really, yeah. Really, our road trip only had two days. But we did see Theth and Komani Lake. Yes. Which were not a part of the road trip, but part of our northern adventure. That's right. Because they're not really road trip mm -hmm. destinations. Mm -hmm. That being said, we had a great time. Our next little adventure will be in um, going to Montenegro. Another country. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah. So we were thinking of extending our Northern Albania road trip and driving to Montenegro, but we will instead bus to Montenegro and potentially get a car over there and do some more traveling. That's right. But either way, we will go around Montenegro. Yeah. That so being said, I had so much wait. fun today. I'm so tired. Look at me. Yeah, the sun makes you tired the pretty quick. The sun and swimming and driving and all things considered. That's true. Great day today. Um, and that's it. All right, there you have it, guys. Had a blast. All right. Uh, maybe the outro of the video will be um, us looking for a guest house. Nothing booked yet. So we're <laughs> okay. going to find somewhere to stay around here. And then... Uh, I'm tired. What was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you all Yo, at another time. If it wasn't for this water, I would have I would have quit the <laughs> vlog and said we'll finish it tomorrow. Okay. I was so tired. Bye, y'all. Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Yo, guys, check this out. Fifteen euros per night. Shower. Private bathroom. Toilet. A uh, big room with eleven-inch potentially color TV. We've got AC, we've got a double bed, and no kidding, we are right on the beach. Well, the lake beach. But this is the water right there. And we got a uh, restaurant here. Wow, 15 euros, what a steal. This might be our new favorite place. We want us bang and stuff, what's up? What'd you say, come here? Oh, another bathroom, come here. Dude, walk out to the beach on that balcony, what the heck was that? <laughs> our room. No, it wasn't our room. The door is wide open. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I still wear my backpack. Why am I wearing my backpack? It's so heavy. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Dude, sweet. 15 euros? This is a steal. This is all boardwalk, baby. Boardwalk, baby. Right there and bring some oh, I'm gonna sit right there for a cold water. I'm about to fall asleep. What time is it? 7.30? What happened to me today, man? It's been a long day. It's been a okay. long day. I think driving in a different country is tiring. Yeah. Uh, I will say we spent a lot of time in the city and it was more tiring than usual. <laughs> yep. Oh. All, right. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. I mean, in a couple days. Bye bye. Boop. <laughs> <laughs>